Uh, hi guys, in this video, I am going to demonstrate how can you read data from a file character by character. So let us start. So for file manipulation, we have to include the header file f string. So this one yeah, you need to remember. Don't miss it. So here we are going to read a file character by character and here this is the file I am going to read my test.txt so it contains two lines of text so first line this is a test and second one another test this is the content we are going to read for that First, I am going to create an object of type input file string. To do that, for that, we have to declare that object of type input file string. And some name you, you can give for example input and within the set of parentheses we can mention your file if the file is in the same directory directly we can type the file name that is my test dot txt otherwise give the absolute path so to find the absolute path take the property of the file so here I am taking this property and here you can paste it so it looks like this now we can read the data now Normally, if you want to read the data, we have to use CM object that is from the keyboard. Now, from the file, we have to read the data. For that, we have an object to refer that. That is the input. So, instead of CM, we, have, we can use input. Input, read the data and give it to some variable data. So what should be the data? It may be a character, character, for example, data. So read it and we can display it. See out data. And now we are and after the reading the, the data, we are after reading from the file. I am going to close the file using that object input.close. That is the healthy way of programming. Save it. Now I am going to compile this program using the G compiler. So it is compiled successfully. Now we are going to run it. We got only the first letter. See, that is this now we have to read the second letter and third letter fourth letter so how it can be done For, so these two things that is the line number line number 9 and 10 should be iterated multiple times so line number 9 we are going to read character by character so these two things we are going to put in a while loop while so some condition we have to put it so we need to repeat this process till we reach the end of the file for that we can put while it's not input dot end of file 
So endo file is a standard method and once it reaches the end of the file, there is no more data in the file. This end of file method returns a value 1. So when it reaches at the end of the value, at the end of the file, the outcome of this function call, it gives the value 1. Now not 1, it means 0. At that time, the loop will be terminated. So these two things we are going to keep it inside. And now we are going to cross check. So we compile it. And now you can see that we are getting all the things Your actual content is this is a test, this is a test, everything is coming but everything in a new line. So we are going to remove this part and after that we are going to insert a new line by using the end line. So recompile. Now we are going to run the program and we are going to see that. So now we can see that your input is this, then is a test, then another test. The white spaces are skipped. We are not getting the white space. To get the white space, what you can do is, instead of using this procedure, we can use an another one. What you can do is, use that object input dot, then you can say get function and store the data in the variable data. Now you can see that how it is getting changed. Now you can see that exact thing is coming. This is a test and another test. It So when you call get data, we can read the every embed space also. So every data will be read as a character by character and here when it reaches this t a new line character is there that new line is also red that is why a is coming in the next line you can see that so after that we are inserting a new line so you can see that the command from the prompt is coming command prompt is coming in the next line then finally closing the file. So thanks for watching.